morning grade 6 welcome back to grade 6 mathematics class hope you all are doing great today today let's learn about how we can represent data pictorially so here you can see a table that shows the data which is the favorite ice cream flavor of 30 students in a class so let's have a look at the data given here vanilla is the favorite flavor of nine students in the class strawberry is liked by six students in the class chocolate is liked by eight students in the class and butterscotch is liked by seven students in the class so here we have represented the number of students using numbers now what if we represent the number of students using a symbol or a picture so here you can see smiley faces now the number of students is represented with smiley faces so as we saw in the table vanilla is the favorite ice cream flavor of nine students in the class so I guess the flavor vanilla, we have shown nine smiley faces that corresponds to nine students. So each smiley face here represents one student each. So we can say the scale of this representation is one smiley face is equal to one student. So scale means what is the value represented by each symbol in this kind of representation. So here each smiley face represents one student each and we have shown the number of students against each favorite ice cream flavor using this symbol here now this is the data collected from 30 students in the class now what if the data was collected from 300 students would it be easier for us to represent the data from 300 students with this kind of representation let's see so here we have the table that shows the number of students and their favorite ice cream flavor so this data is collected from 300 students have a look at the numbers vanilla is the favorite flavor of 80 students strawberry is the favorite flavor of 70 students chocolate is the favorite flavor of 90 students and butterscotch is liked by 60 students now what if we use a smiley face for each of the student in this case would it be easier to draw all the pictures no it won't be so in that case we are going to choose a different scale we can change the value that each symbol represents that is we are going to change the scale now let's take the scale as one smiley face represents 10 students hence for vanilla which is liked by 80 students among the 300 students we can draw eight smiley faces each smiley face represents 10 students hence eight smileys will represent 8 into 10 10 students so here we have changed the scale so today we saw a couple of examples in which we use symbols or icons to represent some kind of data so this kind of representation is called a pictograph so a pictograph is a representation of data using images and symbols and we usually include a scale also called the key along with the pictograph and it represents what is the value represented by each icon or the symbol used in the pictograph so there are a few steps for making a pictograph so first we have to collect the data and review the data the next step is to pick a symbol to be used in the pictograph and then we have to assign a key or a scale for the pictograph so once you have reviewed the data picked up the symbol and assigned the key you can actually draw the pictograph so once you're done with drawing the pictograph you can review the pictograph so these are the steps included in representing some data with pictograph so now let's see how we can interpret data from a pictograph so here you can see a pictograph it shows the name of snack items sold in a canteen and the number of snack items sold on a particular day is represented using pictures or symbols and there is also a scale mentioned here it is one symbol represents 10 pieces of the snack item now let's see a few questions based on this pictograph here the first question it says find the number of cutlets sold on that day so have a look at the pictograph see the row for cutlet how many symbols can you see here which represents the number of cutlets sold on that day you can see there are three symbols here and the scale is one symbol represents 10 pieces so what is the number of cutlets sold on that day we have to count the number of symbols shown against cutlet let's count one two three so there are three symbols given here now you have to multiply that number by the value given in the scale so here the total number of cutlets sold on that day would be equal to 
3 into 10 because each symbol represents 10 faces and there are 3 symbols hence the total would be 3 into 10 which is equal to 30. So, the total number of cutlets sold on that day is equal to 30 cutlets. Hope this is clear. Let us see another question based on the same pictograph. It says how many wedge rolls were sold. So, let us have a look at the number of symbols shown against the snack item called wedge roll. So, let us count the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 symbols shown here against wedge roll and each symbol represents a value of 10 pieces. Hence, the total number of wedge rolls sold would be equal to this 7 into 10 which is equal to 70. So, a total of 70 wedge rolls were sold on that particular day. Let us see the next question. It says how many more samosas were sold than vadas? So, how many samosas were sold? How can we find it? Count the number of symbols 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the total number of samosas would be equal to 6 into 10, 60. Now, how many vadas were sold on that day? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the total would be 4 into 10 which is equal to 40. So, 60 samosas were sold and 40 vadas were sold. Now, how many more samosas were sold than vadas? How can we find it? Just take the difference in the number. So, that would be 60 minus 40 which is equal to 20. So, we can say 20 more samosas were sold than vadas. So, I hope this is clear to you. So, this is how we can represent and interpret data using pictograph. So, a pictograph comes in handy when we have to represent data which shows values which are multiples of the same number. Now, that is all for today. In the next class, we will see a different kind of representation of data. So, for today, we have to go through this topic which is given from page number 237 and then you will be ready to work out the questions from exercise 16.2. Complete all the questions from the exercise. Please do take a picture of your answers and send us through Teams. That's all for today. Let's see in the next class. Till then, bye.